afternoon peeps right what we got today then we have excusing all the mess one air pump let me step back see if i can get the whole thing there we go it's lifting the water i'd say about two and a half foot it's not glued together yet it's not even taped or anything it's just like stuffed together with a few pipes in it and bits and pieces as you can see we've got three air stones running in down three airlines off my uh, wonderfully big air pump still to be trimmed up and tied up and sorted out but it's another problem and it buggers off down there goes under the outline from the main aquaponics bed across here finds a flexi pipe because it's the only bit of pipe I had left yes that is taped and oh what the fuck is this language disgusting here we have an aquaponics bed Yes, it really is, although it is currently full of water. Yeah, it doesn't leak. It is screwed, glued and tattooed. And in some places, double screwed. But it's there. has a ledge on the front for me to fall over or leave tools on and then think, where the hell did I leave that? Um, I haven't fastened it all down yet. And finished it off. I've got to put the outlet in, which is currently sat in the water. I've got to run this pipe, which is all ready, over to there. That's going to be the outlet and back into the pond just next to that one. That one. Yeah, same colour pipe, and I'm going to dig it down a bit and bits like that. Nothing serious though. And then once we do that, I'm going to tape all this up so it won't leak and we're going to start pumping water through it to see what it's like. I've got to find a grilly type bit for the bottom so my gravel do not bugger off and I've got to modify some sort of bucket as a catcher just like that one. But what we decided was, if I do a circular bucket and then we're going to cut a big circle out of my mesh, yeah, and we're going to fold it like kids do to make a cone and then we're just going to get some of these cheap clamps, yeah, and clamp it to the bucket. And that way when it needs cleaning I just pull it out, yeah, hit it with the hose pipe from behind and then stuff it back in. Because it's stainless, it won't go rusty and I can put a lid on it if I so require. Not as I think I will. But there you go, that's what we're thinking of doing. So, it's all good, I think. Could be bad as well, eh? But this is what happens when I'm working in the garden. It gets messy again, look. Never stays tidy, see what I mean? Rosebush is doing well. Pretty flower. Yeah, stuck to stop people standing on pipe, because you know what kids are like. They'll come along and there's a pipe on the floor and it's like, ooh, I must stand on that and roll it under my foot to see if it breaks. Crack. Dad, your pipe's leaking. Well, why did you stand on it? Uh, fish look happy-ish. It's a really rainy overcast day so they're all hiding down the bottom pretending not to exist. I don't blame them to be honest, I don't want to be here either. In fact I might go in and have a cup of tea and just pretend the world stopped for a day. Let's have a look at the plants, see how we're doing. Radish is radishing. Have we got any at the bottom yet? Anything edible? Nah, not really. That's what we're waiting for. We don't know what they taste like, so we're going to grow some. Oh, look. Intruder. Intruder. Where can we throw him? Over there in the rubbish pile. There we go. Beetroot's doing all right-ish. Strawberries are still strawberry in. Grass is still grass in, look. Yeah, it's got bar grass 
where is it? Uh, that leaf there, just there. Got a big pot of grass there. No strawberries, as you know. Three billion carrots all in one bucket. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to plant them like that, but I'm not complaining. If they make something, they make something. If they don't, they don't. Broccoli, still looking quite good. It's actually starting to get slightly darker leaves now we've got rid of the uh, fish eating everything. And as for my yeah tomatoes now bent over at the top and going sideways going all directions I might need a bigger circle to hold them up and we got some fat look 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 Ooh, where are they Lewis absolutely killed myself for laughing if they make a tomato and I ain't going to eat it, I'm going to dry it out, steal all the seeds and plant them all again for next year and see what happens. Right, um, how's the fish doing? Can you see, there's baby fish. Oh, can't see camera. Yeah, baby fish. One of them. It's getting quite big. Oh, there's another one. That's two. Oh, good job, they're everywhere. There's two koi and at least two baby fish with colour in there. There's a couple of plant pots and a bit of pipe down there as well to keep the fish happy. I think that's the third baby there. Oh, God. Alright, that's the plants. Um, obviously that bed will be full of them when I uh, gravel it up. That's going to take me a while. I have to save my pennies up for these things. I'm a pensioner. Not young. Not fit. Broken person. Da -da -da -da. So, yeah, there's what? If I said 10 bags of lair, there's probably about 40 bags of gravel there from Q&B. Yeah, or I might get a couple of ton bags. Might work out cheaper, I don't know yet. It depends whether they'll deliver. And uh, then I've got to figure out what I'm doing with big pile of stones. Suggestions, anybody? Uh, no more aquaponics beds, eh? Not yet, anyway. Still got to sort out the carrot bed. I keep being raining today. Can you see all the water on the netting? Still got to sort out carrot beds, still got to sort out its stand. Uh, what else? I wonder what koi tastes like cooked up when they're about too far. Hmm. No, no. Uh, what else we got to do? No more beds for now. We've got to do the carrot bed, figure out how I'm watering it because it might come over here and get used as a wiki bed. That way I don't have to water it. High of laziness, I know, but it works. And we are going to have a load of spud buckets along this edge. Yeah, and do them the same as we've got over there, if I can find some rope. If not, I'm going to be plaiting some old towels from the charity shop and use them as drip feed for my buckets. But yeah, we're going to do shitload of... Oh, shitload. What? Uh, your English sucks these days. Yeah, a uh, bucket load of buckets to grow potatoes in. There you go. Crappy use of English at its extreme. Uh, I've not seen my helper this week. I think he's moved because I moved all my logs or bits of wood. So I don't know where he's hiding, to be honest. As long as he's alright, I don't give a monkeys because he keeps eating the snails for me and flies and pretty much everything else. I'm taking a guess he's gone under the edge of that shed or back under the concrete pad there. Caught some wasps trying to make a nest there yesterday. Yeah, while it was sunny. 
gave them a dousing of poison. They've gone away again. Uh, what else? That's about it. So it's still a mess. And I think I'll stop there. I'll bring you back when I've started on that. But I'm not doing it today. It's raining already and I don't want to get wet. I don't feel like being wet today. What I will do... Can you see the bramble growing over the back of my strawberries? Look! Bramble! Has it managed to run along the top of the fence? I don't know, but we're going to cut it just there. Get me big long cutters. Big long cutters. Where are they? Cutters huge. Cutters, where are you? Oh crap, I've lost them. There they are. I hung them up. Bloody hell! Cutters huge. Right. Uh, is there anywhere to put you over here? Anywhere to put you? Anywhere to put you? Yeah, you can sit in this strawberry bed. Oh and fall over sideways. <clears throat> Cut. Oh, focus. You fuck. Maybe he's saying that. You fuck. I love that. Hysterical. Oh, yeah. Didn't show you. New air bit. Yeah, the air pump's not on at the moment. I will be turning that on in a bit. Three for the new air lift. One going to the settling tank. Yeah, um, big mess. Threw that over there because it kept tripping over it the other day. Don't care. Um, big bag of food inside bought yesterday. And that's about it for the moment. So... Huge mess, we'll be tidied up in the next couple of weeks. See you later. That's it for today, it's time to say goodbye. Why don't you subscribe, like me, hate me, who cares? And have a nice day, bye. <laughs>